In this episode, we'll be taking a look at how to breed the butterflies. For the most part, the butterflies will do this themselves. We've intentionally picked species that are well suited to a greenhouse environment and tend to breed prolifically, so in theory, it should be fairly straightforward. Each species is slightly different, but in most cases, the adults will hatch and then take a day or two to adjust to conditions. Flying and feeding. Let's take a look at the life cycle of a butterfly. In this case, it's the common Mormon, Papilio polites. After two or three days of flying around, the butterfly should naturally pair, and this will fertilize the female. In the case of the common Mormon, the female will usually lay between 100 and 200 eggs on citrus or choisia plants. In this case, the eggs have been laid on choisia. The small yellow eggs will begin to hatch into tiny caterpillars, and over the next few weeks, these will grow and develop. Paleopolites larvae, in their earlier stages, have the appearance of bird droppings as a way of camouflage. The larvae will get bigger and shed its skin around five times in what are called instars. In the final instar, the larvae will look like this. It will then position itself somewhere safe on a stem and begin pupating. After a day or so, it will become a pupae. And then around 12 to 14 days later, this will hatch out into a butterfly and the cycle starts again. So let's have a look at what's happened in the greenhouse over the last three weeks. Thank you. 
that's everything for this episode. Next time we'll be looking at some of the pests and problems in the flight area. So I'll see you then. <laughs>